got this uh, incredibly complex data tip here. SQL Connect. Let's uh, take a look at our SQL query. So we've got uh, a fairly complex uh, screen here in terms of our data dip. Um, in this one, we can have, we've actually concatenating two SQL um, executes. We've got uh, uh, connect here. Uh, we do a SQL data dip here to pull back a customer record. And we've got another SQL connect here that is actually going to manipulate that data, uh, do some case searching. So the issue becomes one, well, how best, how do you troubleshoot that? I mean, if there's an issue, what do you do? So one of the tools that uh, it's undocumented, but it's there. If, uh, if you go in here to short tell, you'll see all your normal short tell data folder, blah, blah, blah. Where you want to go is to program files because the ECC stuff is located here in this folder called short tell. If you click on that short tell contact center, go into the contact center. Next step would be go to this bin file. In the bin file, what we're looking for, if you'll notice, there's a bunch of different uh, exe files in here. And uh, you can learn a lot just by uh, playing with these. But the one that you want to use at this point is this little guy here called BSW. This guy here, BSW log mom. Now, that tool will enable you to do a serious amount of testing. It will enable you to see what is going on in the contact center uh, as calls are hitting the various uh, uh, route points in the contact center server. So uh, across the top, you have a bunch of uh, icons, and one that's uh, important here is this filter facility and if you pop that up it will let you choose the different facilities in the contact center uh, that you want to uh, monitor now it's taken a long time to uh, figure these out there is no documentation on it it's well known to those who know it well. Uh, you'll see here, uh, they all generally start with FC, CB, you know, FC something. Uh, don't know what that means. Can't find any documentation on it. Uh, but I have um, learned that you can take these guys here, drag them from the left side over to the right side, and set up your active filter and that's what we have over here we have a list of the filters that we are going to uh, use in this analysis so once you have get that uh, set up up here you'll see uh, a play button now if you hit the play button it will enable you to um, call into the contact center and follow the information along. And I'll give you an example in just a second. OK, in this uh, application, uh, not uncommon, we are going to route the incoming call uh, based on some information we pulled back from a CRM package. So uh, this is not a tutorial on SQL or SQL data dips. Uh, it's, uh, focus here is on how to use this tool to troubleshoot. So just to give you a feel for it, um, the first data dip takes the incoming ANI and it's usually if you're using the caller ID to uh, look something up in the CRM package, you're going to have to do some string manipulation to get rid of the plus one that is passed as part of any. So we're going to capture any. We're going to use that to look up something in the CRM package and pull back a customer record. After we pull back the customer record, we're going to do some manipulation of that record. We're going to say, in this application, I need to figure out if they're a platinum customer or if they're on credit hold or whatever, and route the call accordingly. So I've got this uh, little uh, uh, 
SQL, uh, it's the second connector. The first connector gets the record. The second one operates on it. Basically, it's going to look at the uh, caller ID and um, pull back the record. Then the record is going to look at a couple of fields and says, uh, you know, if the guy's a platinum, transfer him here. And if he's a credit hole, transfer him there. So the question becomes these uh, uh, call profiles that you set up, this case I've got one called contract type how am I going to see that and that's where this tool comes in so I'm going to call into the application hear me fumbling around placing phone calls dialing through the auto attendant the screen will ultimately uh, fill with uh, the captured data as we hit the ECC. It's not going to fill with data from the PBX, only when we hit the uh, uh, IR end in the ECC. So, Hi. For a directory of names, press nine. For service, so it's, uh, <clears throat> it's going to look up my uh, call, caller call ID and then not finding it, it's going to prompt me to put in one. So I'm going to put in a number now. Okay, so at that point, we should have captured uh, all of that information. And as I think I've already pointed out, you can see these different FC commands here. And that's how you begin to put together a library of what they mean. But uh, you can see the call as it hit the system, and you can see every step uh, of code that the contact center is executing as you go through here um, and in this instance I'm interested in the so I'm going to try and jump to my select command okay so what I did here was I know what my SQL uh, command was and I'm just uh, going to cut to the chase here by uh, looking for that uh, select and what we can see at this point yeah, come on. so I can see my actual um, SQL command here so as I showed you before you can see the actual uh, SQL command that was run <clears throat> and this was a, 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 a operate on the data and if it's this do this if it's this do this that kind of a, a select dot case um, but as I said before we've got this uh, uh, call profile I need to find out what was filled in there uh, to troubleshoot and by using this tool I'm able to go here I can see the you know select case and now the call variable is filled in with the actual value that was returned from uh, the data dip. I can see my else clause, you know, so this makes it very useful for troubleshooting data dips. The tool itself is very informative. Unfortunately, it's not well documented. You're going to have to spend some time figuring out how to set up these filters. Um, but once you uh, get a few key ones, um, like this one, to take a look at your data dip, uh, then you're going to be able to uh, troubleshoot your system. At any rate, I hope you have found this. Sub